What's going on coaches, it's Ethan. Today's video we're gonna be talking about how much capital does it actually take to start a tennis coaching business. So I'm gonna give you guys two numbers today and we're gonna talk about each of these items that you need that actually make up these numbers. So hopefully, so it's actually gonna kind of be like a checklist for starting your tennis coaching business. So hopefully it's gonna be a super value packed video for you guys. So make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to join the family. Go ahead and join the free Facebook group, link in the bio down below. And without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, coaches, so let's jump straight into the numbers. I've got two numbers here for you. Uh, the first number is gonna be like an absolute minimum you can have, because I'll be assuming that you have a lot of the other stuff. And the second number is actually gonna be um, like I'll, I'll be assuming if you have none of this at all, right? So the first number I'm gonna have for you is about $50 to start your tennis coaching business, right? And then assuming you have nothing at all, like zilch, zero to start your tennis coaching business, I would say about $365 to start your tennis coaching businesses. So with that being said, let's jump into the items you're gonna need that make up these numbers that I've given you. All right, so the first thing you guys are gonna need is a tennis ball hopper, all right? Now, if you've ever been to a tennis lesson yourself, then you should definitely know what this is. Your coach, this is what your coach is picking up the balls out of and feeding them to you, right? If they didn't have one, then they shouldn't have been teaching you tennis. Um, but basically, guys, a tennis hopper is gonna be around $30 on Amazon, is which I found. Um, and if you guys already have the rest of the things on this list, which is gonna be like brackets and balls, uh, among other things, then this is really gonna be your only expense. Um, that and balls probably. Um, so that's where the $50 comes from, is mainly this tennis hopper is gonna be pretty much all you need besides a racket. Um, so that's item number one, guys. Let's get into item number two, which is gonna be tennis balls. Um, you're gonna need tennis balls and Guys, if you're just starting out, you don't have to go out and buy a fat case of brand new tennis balls. If you have old balls that are, uh, that will do, like they're good enough, they have enough pressure and they're gonna bounce well enough, like you don't wanna bring some super old balls into your practices. It's really not gonna look good if you're using like five or uh, anything over a year old ball. You guys should be switching your tennis balls out like every six months, right? Um, so that's item number two guys is gonna be tennis balls. Um, I didn't go over the price, but You can get a case of tennis balls for like $30 on Amazon for like 45 for 40 45 balls for $30. So it's really not that expensive guys um, That's where the $50 is coming from in the beginning of the video that I said from because you're gonna need a tennis hopper and some tennis balls So that's really all you need to get started uh, unless you don't have any anything at all, then you're gonna find out later in this video what else you're gonna need, right? So moving on to item number three, guys, is gonna be your actual tennis racket. Now, if you guys are watching this video, I'm sure there's a high chance that you already have a tennis racket. Uh, but if you're gonna be a coach, then you need to look more like an authority and, pro and have a higher performance tennis racket. So I'd suggest if you don't already have one, buying a racket anywhere between the one to $200 range. I mean, pretty much all the pro rackets like bad at head head speed uh, all these rackets are retailing for 199 uh, 200 bucks but if you're a seasoned player already looking to start a tennis coaching business or already a coach then you should already have the racket covered and uh, I had this number in factored into my $365 to start your tennis coaching business that I said earlier um, but I'm sure most of you guys already have that so you guys can cross that off the list and that's gonna be item number three, guys. So moving on to item number three, guys, is going to be courts. You're gonna need courts for your practice, obviously, um, and you really should be able to find free courts, right? Uh, you should be able to find these free courts and be able to play on them for free, like a neighborhood or a tennis center. We have one here in Houston that's free to play on. Um, but I do know in some areas that it's just gonna be hard to find and you're gonna have to cough up the court fees, which I found are gonna range anywhere from five to $15. Um, I took this average from my area, from the paid courts I did find. Um, so you'll need at least five to $15 per hour uh, of court time. So that expense is factored into the 365. 
uh, as mentioned before. And that's gonna be item number three, guys, is tennis courts. Moving on to item number five, guys, I think I messed up the lists along the way, but this is the fifth item you're gonna need, it is going to be a coaching certificate. Now, this is actually a very controversial topic as to whether you need this to start a tennis coaching business or not. In my opinion, personally, I really don't think you need one to start. Uh, I would recommend like as your practice grows, then picking it up for um, the authenticity of your program. But I really don't think you need this in the beginning. So I did some research and I have it here. Uh, a decent coaching certificate is gonna cost you anywhere from two to four hundred dollars. So this is gonna be quite an investment and likely gonna commit you to tennis coaching. Um, but honestly guys, I really don't think you need this in the beginning. You should have no problem getting getting clients without the certificate. Um, it just, it's nice to show other, like if you were going to get a club job, like as a tennis coach at a club, then I would recommend having a coaching certificate. But in this situation, we're talking about starting our own practices and as long as you're able to actually teach others and help them get better, then I don't think a coaching certificate is actually necessary. If you're able to help someone, uh, help them get them to where they wanna be, then you're already qualified to teach them. And especially if you've been playing tennis for years already and you can help these people, then why do you need a little piece of paper to verify that you can teach them right those are just some of my views guys um, but that's item number five guys is gonna be a coaching certificate um, but one thing I will say about a coaching certificate is when you get this um, it will come with insurance up to like six million dollars I think of liability insurance in case any of your students get hurt or anything like that so that is a plus about a coaching certificate but this will be uh, this is going to segue into our item number six, which is actually going to be insurance, right? So this is going to be an alternative if you don't want to get a coaching certificate is you can actually just pick up some insurance for your lessons. And I did some research on this and insurance is actually going to cost about $315 a year. Uh, now this depends on how many students you already have in your camp and uh, basically just how many students you have in your camp and how old they are uh, but I was looking at the price and there it's very cheap it's like five bucks per student you have and that was across all ages tennis is a very uh, like less risky sport uh, the highest on there was baseball I assume they get the most injuries uh, but tennis was very low risk on the insurance website that I was checking on um, but yeah guys $315 a year for insurance and that goes up to about two million dollars I believe with even twenty five thousand dollars in medical expenses so and as to whether you should have insurance like straight from the get-go I don't think that's necessary I think in the beginning maybe when you have five clients then it might be all right. Uh, I mean, don't take any legal advice from me, guys. If you wanna be covered, by all means, get this insurance before, because honestly, you never know what happens. Um, but if you wanna take that risk and play and teach without insurance, then that would be on you, and you would be fully liable for anything that happens to any of your students while they're at your practice. So I actually, I do recommend picking up insurance. It's $315 for peace of mind that if anything happens, any injury or anything on the court that you are covered. Um, so this was, this insurance is an alternative if you don't wanna get the coaching certificate. Uh, you, don't, uh, you don't have to get this coaching certificate, you can just get this insurance and you'll be covered. So there you have it guys, you're gonna need about $50 to start your tennis coaching business for the hopper and some balls if you've already got the rest of the things I've said on this list. Or if you have absolutely nothing at all, you're gonna need about $365. And honestly, guys, this is not a bad startup cost for business. Like considering businesses today, it takes a lot of money to start and get going to actually make a profit. Um, but these are some pretty conservative numbers to actually get your practice off the ground and running, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe and comment to join the family, guys. I'd really appreciate it. And make sure to join the free Facebook group link in the bio and that's it from me guys i hope you enjoy the rest of your day thanks for watching